Saturn was located near 16.9 degrees south, 169.3 degrees east. That's about 95 kilometres east-northeast of the Shepherds Group and 125 kilometres northeast of Afate. Tropical Cyclone Atu has been almost stationary for the last three hours. The central pressure of the system is estimated at 976 hectopascals. Winds close to the centre are estimated at 110 kilometres an hour, that's 60 knots, possibly increasing to 125 kilometres an hour, 70 knots, in the next 6 to 12 hours. The system is forecast to be at 17.3 degrees south, 169 degrees east, within the next 6 to 12 hours. Damaging gale force winds of 75 to 105 kilometres an hour are still expected to continue affecting southern Penam and Malampa provinces. Destructive force winds of 90 to 130 kilometres an hour are now expected over the north of Schaefer province. Winds of similar strength will spread to the rest of the province later tonight. Destructive hurricane force winds of 125 to 185 kilometres an hour may affect the whole of Schaefer province later tonight or early tomorrow as the system moves slowly southwards. Damaging gale force winds of 75 to 105 kilometres an hour will affect Tafia province in the next 12 hours with destructive hurricane force winds of 125 to 185 kilometres an hour affecting Tafia province in the next 12 to 24 hours. Very rough seas with very heavy swells expected. Heavy rainfall and flooding, including coastal flooding, is also expected. The National Disaster Management Office advises people that Red Alert remains current for southern Kenan, Malampa and Schaefer province, while Yellow Alert remains for Tafia province. The Vanuatu Meteorological Service will issue the next warning for this system at 6 o'clock tonight. People over southern Panam, Melampa, Schaefer and Tafia provinces should continue to listen to all radio stations to obtain the latest information on this system. Also note that the warning and the forecast track map are available on the Vanuatu government's meteorological website www.meteo.gov.vu That website address again www.meteo.gov.vu Please take care out there. We're rejoining Radio New Zealand National with Te Ahika. In our particular area was a descendant of Te Aupui. And if we have a look at leadership amongst the northern people, you could always count on the fact that the greater spokesman always came from Aupui. Sid, you could have pursued an academic career having completed your degree at university. What motivated you into joining the 